January 2016 not only marks the beginning of a new year, it marks a significant milestone for Harris Health. It's the system's 50th anniversary of providing quality medical care to all residents of Harris County without regard to their ability to pay. Harris Health began in 1966 as the Harris County Hospital District. It was created by a vote of county residents out of compassion and concern for their neighbors. For years, the poor and minorities in Houston and Harris County had been dependent on charity for even substandard medical care. Well, 50 years ago, uh, when Harris Health was chartered, uh, it was a, a seminal moment for this community because we acknowledged as a community that there was a great need, a need to provide health care to the underserved, and the need was to provide it in a more organized fashion. And so with the creation of the hospital district, the Harris County Hospital District, there was a consensus by the community that it was time to move to a new level of caring and concern. Uh, and with that, uh, we have launched a, 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 a health system that now 50 years later uh, is one of the premier publicly owned health systems in the nation, doing a tremendous amount of good work. On January 1st, 1966, Harris Health began with two hospitals, the aging and overcrowded Jefferson Davis Hospital on Allen Parkway and the new Ben Taub Hospital, which had just been built in the heart of the Texas Medical Center and was already becoming overcrowded. Everybody came to the hospital because there were no clinics. Lois Moore began her career as a student nurse at Jefferson Davis. Then, as an RN, she went over to Ben Taub, where she moved up to become Director of Nursing. Eventually, Ms. Moore went on to become the CEO of the entire hospital district. She saw early on that the new system had to find a better way to deliver health care. I used to hate people coming in with bad decubiti, with hard breasts because they had breast cancer and did not have access. The conditions that poor people have had to go through here and come in with really advanced conditions was something that was very difficult for me. And what I wanted to do is to make things better. It got to be so congested in the hospitals until committees were formed to begin to look at how can we improve access to care for patients. And that's, that was the beginning of the planning for the community health programs to look at moving care where it would be more accessible where people lived. One of the doctors dealing with the congestion at Ben Taub was Carlos Valbona. He was also a professor of community medicine at Baylor. He also believed that waiting for patients to present at the hospital was not the best way to deliver care. It was way too expensive and outcomes were often worse since patients were usually sicker. Rather than this hospital-centered system, Dr. Valbono was advocating a patient-centered system where health care was available out in the community where the people were. It was a pretty radical idea at the time, but Dr. Valbona made a convincing argument that by reaching out, they could deal with medical problems early on. Treatment is more effective and less expensive. Dr. Balbona was the soul of, uh, of the community health program for our clinics. Elvin Franklin is chairman of the Harris Health Board of Managers, where he's served for nearly 30 years. He spent many of those years working with Dr. Valbona. He was very innovative uh, about what he felt like we needed in the community. He believed in wellness. He felt like everybody should be, if you're sick, that you shouldn't be on medicine all the time. We should teach you how to take care of yourself. That's the thing that I found so impressive. And his thing was that everybody should be tended to. When I first met him, he said, I, I, I'm gonna come to you. I'm gonna make you upset at times. He said, but I hope that you understand that I'm simply concerned about the patient. And the thing that really made me very proud when we did, when we built uh, El Franco Lee Clinic, which is larger and they were able to provide more services. When we built uh, Smith Tower, and then we have the tower over at LBJ, where we're able to give these people the service that they need. This is the thing that excites me about being affiliated with uh, Harris Health System. 
From the infancy of Harris Health, there's been a commitment to the radical concept of patient-centered medicine, where healthcare was most accessible to the most people, especially those who had traditionally been underserved. After half a century, that commitment is still going strong. We now have 18 community health centers throughout the county, and this outreach continues to grow. We now have more than 20 easy access clinics, walk-in same-day clinics, clinics in schools, and in homeless shelters. We've also kept pace by investing in our hospitals. London B. Johnson, or LBJ Hospital, opened its new state-of-the-art emergency center in 2011 and quickly established itself as Texas' busiest Level 3 trauma center. The 328-bed hospital and affiliated clinics are staffed by the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston. That affiliation, along with Baylor College of Medicine, gives Harris Health some of the best medical minds and talent in the country. As you know, we have three hospitals, Ben Taub, LBJ, and the Quinton Meese Hospitals, and they do tremendously wonderful work. Level one trauma center, level three trauma center, rehab center. Uh, but what's really unique about our system, what's really so uh, uh, wonderful about our system is that it's community-based. We actually have 47 points of entry into our health system in this community. Three of them happen to be hospitals. But if you consider that 44 of the 47 are actually community-based facilities, large primary care clinics, clinics that provide dental services, a world-famous uh, AIDS, HIV treatment center, school-based clinics, mobile health vans, it goes on and on and on. When you think about the, mo the third most populous county in the nation, Harris County, which by population actually is bigger than 14 states in the nation, uh, with its wide geographical spread, this health system of ours, the Harris Health System, actually reaches out to the community. Uh, and by design, we reach out in areas that are underserved. And so that is very unique about who we are and what we do and how we do it. And we should all be very proud of that. The model of patient-centered care that evolved here at Harris Health is rapidly being adopted by other healthcare systems across the country, both public and private. And our original mission of better patient access, better outcomes, and lower cost has now become a national goal for all health care. We've come a long way in the last 50 years. It's been like the moonshot. Uh, you know, it's like when President Kennedy said in 1962, he says, our goal is to put a man on the moon and return to the earth safely before the decade is out. That seemed so improbable back in 1962. But yet in 1969, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. I liken our journey to that uh, in, in similar ways. They said in 1965, let there be this hospital district and we're gonna serve this community with an integrated health care system and we'll call it, that someday we'll call it Harris Health. Who would have thought that was possible in 1965? Yet here we are. Maybe we, didn't, maybe we didn't walk on the moon, uh, but in the healthcare equivalency of that, that's exactly what we've done. We're moonwalking, uh, a great achievement by a great many people who were dedicated to the mission, uh, and our hope, of course, is to carry that forward. <laughs>